Okay, now that we've created um, our mailing list, our new mailing list, uh, and we've saved it, it's taken us back to the home page. And notice now how it shows that the list that we're managing right now is that practice list uh, that I created. And so the next step that we need to do is we need to make a, a web form for this mailing list. And the web form is going to be basically the form that folks are going to subscribe into. What are they going to be typing? Their name, their email address, and any, any other information that you want. Um, into. So in order to do that, we're back at our home screen now. In order to do that, we need to go up to our list settings. And we're going to slide right on over to the second uh, option here, which is web form. The first option, settings, is the one that we just completed. And so we're going to click on web form. Now again, notice that we have a, a little orange reminder or error message here that we don't have a verification message yet. We're going to get to that in just a minute. So looking down here at this list, right now we have no web forms yet. So we need to click on the Create Web Form, and we will do that now. And we need to, first of all, name this particular form. Now, in this case, um, I'm just going to call this um, um, not inbox. I'm going to call this inline because I want to use this one directly on the website. Now, we have several different options here as far as the types of uh, web forms that we can use inline which means it's going to be right there it's going to be static it's going to be on the website uh, itself and so uh, that's one that I use quite a bit and you often see like on squeeze pages and such like that you can also have a pop-up which pops up into a new window as it tells us a pop under opens in a new window underneath that current window now, I've been uh, doing some reading and such and I've uh, my understanding is, is that pop unders are not uh, working very well right now. This is just not a, a effective anymore. Uh, exit pop-up is like the pop-up, but of course that new window is going to show up whenever a person leaves the current page. And then our other option is going to be a pop over or a hover. It's going to appear to hover uh, right there on top of the web page. Usually it's unblockable. Now I know that you're going to see lots of offers and lots of places where you can buy uh, a special software to do all kinds of nifty effects and such like that uh, with your opt-in boxes. Personally, I have found that the ones here for AWeber do a very good job and they're very effective. So, uh, you know, I really don't see any need myself to use any any of those others. The ones that I've used, I use the most are the inline one, and then I combo that with the pop over one. Now let me show you what happens when we choose the different option here of the popover. You'll see some more options show up down here all of a sudden. And those other options include the pop into the current window suddenly, pop in there gradually from the top, from the bottom, from the left, from the right. So you have lots of different options that you can do there. You can set the height and the weight, uh, the width of the box, the background color, the title, you can even set how many seconds that you want it to wait before uh, it pops in the, into there. And how often do you want it to pop up? Every visit, just once per visitor, uh, every X number of days for that visitor. So all of those are options which are unique to just the pop over or the hover um, form that you can use here. Now if I select the inline box, you'll notice all of those options are not there, that I don't have those options anymore. Now, other options that are available or that are uh, here for regardless of what option that you choose are your thank you page. All right, so a person has opted in, uh, they've clicked submit, and now what page gets shown to them? Now, the default is a very boring AWeber page. I strongly suggest that you create your own page and you put that URL right here. Now you have the option of whether that thank you page is going to open in a new window or not. If you have this opt-in form right there on your main content site, then I would strongly suggest having it open in a new window. That way another window will be open that will still have your content site. On the other hand, if this uh, website that you're using it on is a squeeze page, that the only function of that page is to get an opt-in, well then go ahead and leave it blank. Uh, you don't have to open up a new page. It would be fine for it to open up right in there. One of the advantages of using your own thank you page is that you can use 
uh, you can put other offers on there uh, don't waste this virtual real estate just by putting thank you for subscribing please check your email box to verify your subscription yes you want to have that but also put an offer on there uh, also talk about your other email uh, lists that you may have uh, there's all kinds of different things that you can do it uh, do with that you may even want to think about what about a, a, um, a subscriber swap with somebody you advertise somebody else's list on your thank you page give an opt-in form for them and they will do the same thing for you that might be a neat joint venture that you want to work out for a couple of folks so there's a lots of things that you can do here with your thank you page forward variables and of course it gives a little description here what it is it says if you don't know what this means leave it unchecked well then we're gonna leave it unchecked uh, already subscribed page what page do you want it to show if the individual has already subscribed to your email address and uh, to your mailing list and now they subscribe again you don't have to do anything there but you could put in a URL I've always thought it would be pretty funny to have a website that said uh, or a page here that said hey you're already subscribed uh, did you forget and then maybe find some kind of a product off a of Clickbank or something like that uh, about helping to improve memory uh, just something that's always been in the back of my mind I've always wanted to do uh, there uh, when are we going to uh, start our on which message in the autoresponder series we're going to start on number one ad tracking we're going to get to in a different video and so we're just going to leave this one here I'll start on message number one and then we're just going to tell it next and when we click on next it will take us to the next page where we actually will build our form and we'll tackle that in the next video